anything really, at least contemporary art in that sense. Uh, I feel that art, if I were to define it formally, it would just be it would just be the expression of feeling or emotion um, in some certain manner using some certain medium. And those mediums can range from something that we see most of the time, like oil paintings mm -hmm. or sculpture. But I feel that, at least in contemporary art now, people are using new mediums such as light and shadow and so many, so many different mediums that can, are endless and boundless and infinite. Uh, so art can really be anything in that sense. And I think that's one of the reasons why I love art so much is that there are no limits to art really because it just is the creation of something that expresses emotion, feeling, or thought. And in that sense, art is up to your own interpretation. Art, I think, is great in the way that it's really limitless, it's boundless, and it also appreciates all diversity, all diversities of human thought and uh, different aspects of the way that people think. And it all comes together and it, it's all of it's beautiful, in my opinion. And so art has always been a part of me since birth. But I formally started taking classes when I was six years old. Uh, what I did was I started out sketching just apples, cups, still lives, things that are pretty simple, but it really taught me about shadow, about color, and kind of how to create very interesting, uh, very interesting combinations of things using just shadows and colors and lines. So it was a very good foundation for me, and I continued just sketching apples and cups for many years, and eventually I started to draw more complex things, such as animals, people, uh, landscapes. It was really up to me. That's what I loved about my art teacher, is that he would let me choose anything I wanted to draw, really. And at the time, I, would, I really loved horses. So I drew a lot of horses uh, in my when I was younger. Um, as I grew older, I started to want to branch out into different mediums of art. So when I was in middle school, I did my first oil painting, and it was a, a copy of Monet's painting, uh, Sunset Over the Seine, and it was, I loved it because to me, when you sketch, it's very, it can be very one-dimensional in a sense, but I've always loved working with clay and stuff like that, and oil, it has, it has a thick consistency, and one, you can cover your mistakes with it pretty easily, which you can't really do in sketching, but two, you can also create texture uh, within your paintings because you can kind of stipple your brush or you can make your strokes thick or kind of add some more oil to it and make it thin. So yeah, so now I work mainly in oil painting. I also have explored at school with lots of things such as glass, which was very fun and great. That was a great opportunity. Um, also clay, some metal design as well. So I think I've I've kind of touched on a lot of different bases, but there's always more to learn and there's so many other mediums that I still want to explore. So. so having an art show is something that was really special to me uh, because I've never really showcased my art to very many people before. Before my art show, only my family and close friends really knew that I was actually even an artist. Most of my peers at school don't even know I paint, so, you know, art is a very personal thing to me. And having this art show meant a lot to me. At first, it was, it was scary. It was exciting, but it was a bit scary because, you know, it's very personal and it's your thoughts and your emotions. It's like revealing a part of yourself to the community, to the public. But that's something that I think is very valuable in many ways because one it's it's a great experience just to share yourself with the world I think to kind of not be shy and just show everyone you know this is who I am and this is what I love it's 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 a great it's a great feeling I think but also kind of having strangers and friends come in and see my art 
and hearing their commentary, that's something that was very, very incitive and very enlightening. Um, as an artist, you know, you are creating your art for yourself, but you're also creating it sometimes, if I were to be professional and sell my art, for an audience. And hearing different opinions and insights about my art, you know, different ways people saw, like, the color red. Some people thought my usage of red was scary and off-putting, and some people thought it was great and it reminded them of summer and warmth and stuff like that. So it was interesting to hear different perspectives as well, and I thought that was very valuable to me. Um, and just having all my art together, seeing it all together in one place at one time, because at my home, you know, most of my paintings, because I have uh, very many, they can't all go on the walls. So seeing them all together in one room, that was really, it was really nice to see the progress that I've made over the years because this art show was not just what I've done in the past year, it was works from my middle school years as well. So kind of seeing my progression was really nice and it, I think it, my progression in art kind of also sh showed my progression in personality and all that, so it was, it was interesting and it was nice. Yeah. And most of my paintings are be like landscapes, places that are pretty and nice, um, places that I kind of want to go to, places that make me happy. And so being able to paint and kind of put myself in those places while I paint them, it really was important to me during this college application process because it kept me sane. Um, sometimes I would just wake up at night and not be able to sleep so I would actually just go to my sketchbook and just draw and recreate something that I that is happy and that makes me happy you know. Um, so art has really been an escape for me. It's allowed me to settle my mind and sometimes just the just the process of putting a brush on canvas is it's just soothing to me. You know, there's I'm not sure what it is about it, but just being able to paint and just going in and being able to do whatever I want because art is so you know, art is so variable, just being able to be myself and just do whatever I want with a pencil or a paintbrush or clay or something like that. It's it's just it's just it's just a way for me to escape and take myself away from the world for just a moment and it quiets my mind and it allows me to put myself in a place where I think I can think more clearly after I'm done painting or whatever, or a place where I'm happier, a place where I'm less stressed and things make sense. It really clears my mind and it gives me a moment of silence. It also lets me process my thoughts. Um, recently I've tried painting more contemporary styles, so more abstract art. And it's interesting because you really have to think about the emotions. Uh, it's not about visual beauty or creating an image, it's about invoking a feeling. So, you know, some days where I'm not so happy, you can kind of tell in my painting because my brush strokes will be really harsh and I'll use black, dark colors and not, you know, light yellow or light blue or something like that. And then on days where I'm happier, you can kind of see that through my paintings too. So it's, it's been an interesting process for reflection as well in my life. Art to me in the future is very, very important in many senses. I think art uh, comes through in everyday lives in ways that people sometimes don't notice. So for instance, when you pick up your phone and you go to use it, uh, the reason why you probably have an iPhone or a smartphone as opposed to like a clunky old flip phone is because it looks prettier and it's more easy to use and I think art is in a sense related to that because art you know it's people who are artists are very visually attuned and um, to things that make people happy so you're very sensitive to um, people's emotions and how how visually you can affect people's emotions and as human beings you know we're very visual creatures 
we often look at something and judge it before you know going to buy it or using it or something like that so art is pretty important the visuals are very important in this world so you know in a society where it's often thought that art is just painting and if you grew up to be an artist you're going to be a starving artist on the streets i think it's actually the opposite you know art's everywhere and art can be utilized with everything art can be put together with the technology with business with movies i mean every person enjoys being happy and you know i'm actually pretty interested in the psychology and art being put together because because when you design something you want to design it so that people will want it so that people will like it and art is really important in that sense um, even in the design of cities uh, you know when you have a building or architecture you want to create a space that people are happy in or you want to create a space that people can function well in and i think art is really related to that because when you create a painting or something or sculpture you have to think about the physical use of space and you also have to think about colors and stuff like that that make people feel a certain way you know in restaurants most restaurants nowadays mcdonald's they use red and yellow as their logo colors because there's been a study that the colors red and yellow make people hungrier as opposed to something like blue blue is a color that makes you focus and these are all things that are very related to art so i think art in the future is it's going to be everywhere i think as a person who uh, loves art and has studied art, I've become very attuned to how art is influencing business, I guess, in a sense. And one example of that is um, Apple. So Apple versus Microsoft, you know, they're the two, they're two very big, large tech companies. But I think what really separates Mac users versus PC users is the visuals you know people who want mac computers they buy them mainly because they're prettier um, and they really focus on the design whereas pcs are more focused on you know making things uh run smoothly or like having a lot of different usages and the technicalities of stuff so i think you know if you made something that put Macs and PCs together, they would, they would rule, they would overtake both of these companies mm -hmm. because on one side we have something that's visually tuned that makes people want them, and on the other side we have something that functions in a lot of different ways and is very productive. So art and productivity together would just create, I think, the best.